Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Happy Sunday. I'm so glad you're here with us today. My name is Pastor Kehlani, and I'm ready to get this service started. I'm Pastor Jonathan, and thank you for joining us on our online service. We are super excited because this whole month we are talking about Creativity. creativity and imagining what you could do because you're made in God's image. So last week, if you joined us, you saw that we created these little Lego creatures. They are so cool, these underwater machines. We built these for our beginning of service challenge. For those of you who don't know, maybe you're new here, welcome. First off, we're so glad you're here with us. Uh, but we like to do a challenge to start off each service. Sorry. Okay, um, so we like to start off each service with a challenge. At the end of the month, one of us is gonna have to spin something that's called the Wheel of, of Doom. Doom. It is pretty intense. The Wheel of Doom is as lovely as it sounds. It's pretty awful. It has things like getting slimed, eating crickets and worms, which if you didn't watch last week's service, you should go back. Or is it two weeks ago now? Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Please don't, go don't watch, make me go remember watch that. Go two weeks ago. Go do it, please. It's, it's great. It's terrible. For those of you Anyways, who, who like me, it's terrible. Ooh, I'm getting flashbacks. <laughs> Anyways, the Wheel of Doom, it's awful. It's a bunch of crazy, nasty, awesome things all in one. And so whoever loses this month's challenge is gonna have to spin it at the end of the month. So for the past couple months, if you've been watching, I've been winning and it's been fantastic. Although last week was a rough week for me because, because um, I took the W. In creating these Lego creatures, ooh, it was like, I, I mean, it was like seconds apart. I was like seconds behind Pastor Johnson. Like I, he barely squeaked out a win. Yeah, I, so I got lucky. I'm not worried because today we're gonna do another Lego challenge. So we got these Lego kits that have three in one. So you can build one of three items. So last week we built this guy and this week we're gonna build this little submarine looking machine right here. Oh. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna get these guys ready. We're gonna get it all set up and ready to go. Cause I'm sure you guys don't wanna see that. So we'll be right back and then we're gonna start our weekly challenge. Are you guys ready for this? Are you All ready right. for this, Pastor Our Jonathan? countdown video begins right, right now. now. Prepare audience for maximum impact. All right, everyone. We have our Lego guy disassembled, and we are going to get going. Pastor Kehlani, do you have your phone ready so that way we can put a seven-minute timer? Seven minutes, that's it? Seven minutes. The one who gets the furthest uh, wins. That's and not so, a lot of time. Um, for those of you who don't know, this is the guy that we are building. If you can see him right there. He doesn't have a name. Um, he has a number. Three one zero nine zero. It's like, like a, a stormtrooper or something. Yeah, something <laughs> from Star Wars. That's exactly what I was thinking. Okay. Wait, this so. one, correct? Yes, same yes. one. We have okay. the same one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awful if we were creating two different ones. Okay. Okay. Seven minutes. Seven minutes. You guys ready? Seven minute timer. Are you gonna get your page open? Do you want to do that and then sure. you get started? Start okay. Ready. Okay. Set, Set. Go. Okay, so this one, I don't remember starting with like the little accessory parts first, do I you? I think we did. We did? Mm -hmm. Look how cute, it's like little seaweed. Okay. And then there's another one, a little gold piece. So these are all like underwater ah. robots that are collecting like gold. They're like gold mining yeah. things. That's pretty cool. Ah! Oh, man, Dropped a piece. Them already. My main piece. Wait, are you missing pieces? Yeah, totally. No, wait, for real. No. Two of these with holes. I'm missing one. Missing what? Do you have one of these? I do. do you, how many do you have? Like five? I have three now. Oh, yeah, see, I needed three. Okay. Perfect. Some of our pieces got mixed up in the boxes, so we might have to share a little bit. Okay, so this one looks like it goes here. Remember, seven minutes. So oh, that's right. I, I forgot we're on a timer this time. I'm like taking my time. Ah. Don't do that either. Oh, now I'm rushing. I think these are the coolest pieces I've ever seen. I love the ones that you can build on the side like this. I think that's so awesome. Okay, and then I need a blue square. Oh wait, oops, I did that one backwards. Oh no, it doesn't fit. Did I do something wrong? 
Oh, there we go. Gosh, only seven minutes. Now I'm like stressing out thinking about that. It's a little screw base. Oh, blue. Ah. These are so cool. By the way, thank you to everyone who sent us in your pictures of you completing Legos. Yeah, you great job. Legos. Those are so awesome. Please keep sending them in. Let us know if we can share them on social media because we want to put them right here in this video for everyone to see. So send them in and we would love, love, love to share them with everybody. I think it's so cool to see everybody's finished Legos. How are you doing, Pastor Kehlani? I'm doing good. What number are you on? Don't worry about it. Okay, you know what? I needed that white piece. You did? I did. Well, it's already in mine now. <sighs> so are we missing a white piece? It must be, so I'll just use a or did different I use a piece wrong that one? size. Hopefully I won't need to. I don't see any. Oh, is that the one you dropped though? Did you no, drop it last time? I did not. Oh. Shirt's not in your box. Not in my box, is it in your box? No. These are just the extra booklets. Hmm. Sorry. It's fine. Wait, I've, that means you're I ahead improvised. of me. You're ahead of me because I don't I don't need another white piece yet. That's not good. Not good, guys. Not good. Help me out here. Arrgh. Okay. I hope this is actually gonna look like something in seven minutes because- it's Starting to look like something. It's gonna be um, strange if it's just like this random structure. Okay, this one here. Can you tell me what, how much time we have on the clock? I'm gonna have three minutes left. Oh my goodness. Oh, I see the white piece that we needed now. Oh. Oh no, which one did you use instead? Just give me the white piece. If I need that piece, I'll use it. No, but it's on the bottom. <laughs> Forget it. I don't have it. I'm, I'm short another piece. <laughs> Excuse God me. God bless you. Do, what did you use instead? I used a yellow piece the same size. But it doesn't have holes in it. That's okay. I know. Well, we'll Hopefully. find out. We, okay, well, I'm just going to do it. Ooh. Okay, I got to hurry because you're ahead of me. I only have like mm. two minutes left. Where are those pieces? Oh my gosh, two minutes and 15 seconds left. There it is. I've got to hurry. I can't believe you're beating me this time. Last time I feel like I was way ahead and then you messed up. So it was great because it helped me. By the way, sorting your Legos by color coordinating is very helpful. I did that this time, and I feel like I am finding pieces um, way faster. Are you sure? What? Am I sure what? The color coding's faster? I think so. Well, doesn't seem like it. Hey, hey, now. <laughs> I think compared to last time, I'm finding pieces a lot faster. Yeah, I say the same. What number are you on? 18. What? Sheesh, I'm only on 15. Oh my gosh, you're three steps ahead of me and we have 50 seconds. Oh my gosh, I gotta pick it up. 50 seconds, oh my gosh, 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 okay. Don't freak out, 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 don't freak out. You think that actually helps? Nope. Don't freak out, don't freak out. You think it's making me freak out even more? Oh yeah. Oh. You're okay. so panicking. You're now you're just saying that just to say it to try to you're throw me off my out. game. You're huh? starting to start to that sweat. is rude. That is rude, sir. I'm sorry. Okay, where Okay, I thought color coordinated. Oh, it's white. That's why I'm looking for the wrong color. Wait, that one's not connected to anything. Mm -hmm. I hope that's all right. Okay, 18. Yellow piece here. 
Ah! Peace down, peace down. It's down. It's like it's down. Master Chef. Cooking utensils okay, down. Okay, time's up. What number, what step are you on? I just started number 22. I just finished 19, you guys. This is all I got. That's where you would be. You so this is so parts. this is where I'm at. Look at you can see this is a little bit more complete than mine. <sighs> all right, you guys. Is that, that was the fastest seven minutes of my life. I know. I feel like that flew by. Uh, I don't feel like that was actually seven minutes. But I mean, was, you saw the timer, so yeah. All right. Well, thank that's you it guys today. for tuning in and watching me take a, a second W. I for can't this believe I'm month. losing in August. I have three weeks left, which means I could still take a win. She could. There's she could, a possibility she I could, could win, win the next, the next three, three and come out as a winner. So that's what we're gonna pray for. Friends, but, pray with me. Help me to win this again, guys. I need wins. No. I need her to spin the Wheel of Doom, please. It's been a couple months since I have. Yes. All right, you guys, thanks for tuning in. Service is gonna get started right, right. now. Well, thanks so much for joining us again. Welcome back. We're so excited to jump into our service. Like we mentioned before, all month long, in the month of August, we're gonna be talking about creativity. creativity. I love creativity because every single person who's created in this world has some creativity. That's right. There's a little ounce of creativity in all of us, and that's part of why we were designed, which is like what our bottom line is all about today. Oh yeah. And today's bottom line that we want you to walk away knowing is that God created you for a purpose. There's a purpose for your life, for everybody's life here. And it's so important to us that we represent that in every way. And that kind of goes into why we exist as Bethel kids. Absolutely. In Matthew chapter 5, 16, it talks about how we should be the light. You know, we might be the only Jesus somebody ever sees. Mm -hmm. And so by our actions and how we talk to people and how we react to people can be a, a way that people could see Jesus through us. Yeah. And uh, we like for everyone to, who joins us to be loving, to be including, to be generous, to be hope-filled, and last but not least, to be team players That's in right. everything that you do. And by being all those things, you can be the light to everyone that you come in contact with. And one way that we love to be team players is praise and worship. That's right. We love to praise and worship God. We love to honor Him and show Him how much we love Him through singing and dancing and Absolutely. motions and just letting Him know with our words exactly how much He means to us. So get ready. Stand to your feet. Turn your volume up because we're going to get ready to dance and sing and tell God how much we love Him. So join us for praise and worship right, right now. now.
Wow, that was so much fun. Thanks so much for joining us for yes. Praise and Worship. Did you guys enjoy that new song? That was amazing. I love it. I can't wait to do it again next yeah, week. Yeah. It's going to be so much fun. Well, also, get ready. If you want to watch it again, all you have to do is just rewind a little bit throughout the week. You can practice those moves, and you'll be more than set and yep. to know them for next week. So. We're gonna go ahead and get ready to take our tithe and offering. So go ahead and get ready if you need to. You can grab your parents if you need to. We're gonna to give today one of three ways. And For so one. the first way is through our website, Bethel.org slash give. Really, really simple. The second way you can give is through our Number mobile two. app. So our church center app or our Bethel church app, we have two different apps that you can use and you can give straight through the app, very convenient. Or the third, which is text to give. Number three. So you could text 84321 in the message box, put the dollar sign, the amount you wanna give, space BGMC. Super simple, really easy, really convenient, and safe ways to give. And all of our money goes to BGMC, which is Boys and Girls Missionary uh -huh. Challenge. It's all about raising compassion in our next generation for missionaries and people all over the world. So let's pray really quick. And we just wanna say thank you so much for your donation because it's impacting people um, across the globe. Yeah. So let's pray. Thank you again for your giving. Lord, thank you so much for the blessings that you give us. God, we're so grateful for the opportunity to continue to worship you through mm -hmm. our giving, God, through our tithes and our offerings. And Lord, I just pray that you would bless every person as they give. God, yes, bless Jesus. those who can't give today, but in their heart they wish they could. God, multiply the money that's received today to be mm -hmm. used for your name, to spread your good name yes, all Lord. over this world. God, help the money to meet needs. Yes, help the God. money to feed hungry people or to buy Bibles for people who don't have access to one or to help build a church for people who don't go to church or don't have one in their area. Lord, we pray that it would just be your will and that your plan would come to pass through yes, giving God. that was the money that was given today. We thank you so much. We praise you in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for praying that prayer with us. Now it is time, time for, for our totally, totally utterly useless, useless meaningless, meaningless video of, of the week. week. Here it is. Okay, guys, I didn't grab my Bible. It looks like Pastor Kehlani has her Bible in her hand. Look at that quick draw, McGall. McGraw. What? Anyway, I don't, I don't know. I say? was just trying to make something up that rhymed. But anyways, <laughs> <laughs> if you don't have your Bibles handy, <gasps> well, like, like me. Huh? You know from Despicable Me too. Remember she's like Crawl McGall. Oh uh, no. Anyways, anyways uh, if you don't have your Bibles, we're going to give you a few seconds to go grab them. Are you ready? Ready. Set. Go. Go. guys I hope that you were able to grab your Bibles because today our memory verse one of Pastor Kehlani's favorite memory verse absolutely is found in Jeremiah, Jeremiah 29 am I not saying that? sorry you can say it. Jeremiah 29 11 I thought we were gonna say it together oh okay let's try it again okay let's one. do it Two, three. Jeremiah, Jeremiah 29, 11. 11. I think what happened is I said chapter and you, you started saying 29. Yeah, see, I just go straight into it. Chapter, I don't say chapter okay. or verse. I well, don't say Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. I just say Jeremiah well, 29, 11. I just 11. want them to know like, what chapter it's in, what verse it is, just right. in case they might be opening up their Bible for yeah. the first time today. That totally makes All right. sense. So we're going to be in Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter, chapter 29, 29, verse 11. 11. There we go. Okay, so open up your Bibles. Go ahead and get there. If you have this Bible, uh, I'm sure a lot of you do, um, let, you can open it up to the table of contents. It says contents on it, and it is going to be found in the Old Testament, so all you have to look for is Jeremiah. Jeremiah. And so this uh, book is going to start on page 725. So we're going to go and look for 725. 
and uh, there it is. All right, so now we're in the book of Jeremiah. Now we're gonna go in to 29 chapters. All right, so we're on chapter two, 12, 16, 23, getting closer up to far 30. So that means 29 is right here. And it's it. big, 29, and then the little letters, or the little numbers, is the verse. So we're looking for the little number nine. And here... 11. Oh, sorry, uh, 11. Here it is. And it's actually, if you have this Bible, it is bolded out for you. And so what I would recommend, so that way you guys can practice this every single day, is maybe color something, maybe something small, and you could put it right here, close your Bible, then every morning or every night, whenever you read your Bible, you can open it up to right to your memory yep, verse for the week. Bookmarked. Okay, so we are going, uh, let me read this out loud for you guys. And it says this, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster. To give you a future and a hope, Jeremiah 29, 11. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do is we are going to have you memorize this verse. We're gonna play a game and we are gonna start taking away words and we want you to fill in the blanks. Pastor Kehlani, are you ready for this game? I am ready for this okay. game. Let's take away our first set of words. Let's do it. On the count of three, we'll begin. One, two, three. Four, no, plans, have, you, the, all together, they are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. Great job, guys. If you tuned in and you said that out loud, we want you guys to say it super loud so that way everyone in your house can hear you. All right, guys, don't forget to fill in the blanks. Here we go with a new set of words. One, two, three. Four, no, plans, have, you, the, they, plans, good, not, all together, disaster to give you a future and a hope. Jeremiah 29, 11. Guys, I am so proud of you. You guys are doing excellent. Okay, we are gonna take our final set of words away. Here we go. One, two, three. Four, no, plans, have, you, the, they, plans, good, not, disaster, give, a, and, hope. Okay, what book is this found in? What chapter and what verse? If you guys said Jeremiah chapter 29, 11, you guys got it. I am so proud of you. Great job, Give guys. Give yourselves a round of applause. Woo! Great All job. right, now it is time for our game. game. Now, if you guys don't know, we've been playing games each week and to make our game a little bit more exciting versus us just guessing games, we are also combining it with the game Pie Face, where Pie Face. if one of us guess the question wrong, then one of us is gonna have to spin the dice. Let's say, for example, Pastor Jackson gets or the question wrong. Pastor Kelly. He'll have to roll the dice and see how many clicks he has to turn the clicker to get whipped cream pie in the face in the middle of the game. Yeah. This is all while the game is happening. So, so it could happen multiple times, it could happen None, like yeah. no times at all, or it can happen several times to each of us. We yes. have no idea. It's gonna happen to Pastor Kehlani every time. Nope, okay. it's not going to. All right guys, so we're gonna get set up, so give us a few moments and we will start our game. Ready? Okay you guys, it's time for our brand new game called Holy, Holy Cow. Cow. So the way this game is played is as follows. In this game, choose which biblical event actually happened when God's people chose to worship a golden cow. So we have to say the answer of what we think it is. Could be yeah. person, place, thing, idea, time, situation, whatever. And then if we get it right, we are safe. If we get it wrong, we have to pie face immediately after the question's over. So it could be one of us, Pastor Office. It could be both of us. It could be neither one of us. It, we have no idea. So, it could be anything. And in order to do this, we have to roll a dice to find out how many times who I just rolled. That's like, the only time I'm roll a five in Jesus' name. We'd have to turn it five times, and we have no idea when. It could turn on one, it could turn on three, it could turn on the fifth turn. And slap us in the face with whipped cream. Okay. It would be interesting. By the way, if you didn't know, whipped cream on your face 
stinks really bad. Really? Although it tastes really good on top of dessert when you're eating it, Banana cream. when it's like on your face, it just stinks like rotten milk. It's gross. So, okay. although this game is fun, it smells. Don't try it at home. Here we go. First question is this. Question number one. When Moses went up to Mount Sinai, who did he put in charge of the Israelites? Was it the Levites, Joshua, Aaron, or God? Uh, I think it was Joshua. Oh, two, three. Oh, let's do one, two, three. Two, three. Joshua. Joshua. Okay, when Moses went up to Mount Sinai, who did he... No, 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 no. Who did he put in charge of the Israelites? When Moses went up to Mount Sinai, that was Aaron, Aaron. Yeah. not Joshua. Yeah. yeah. We're talking, I'm thinking, okay. I read it too fast. Ooh, that's going to be dangerous for us. That is. If we read this too fast, if we're not thinking okay. straight. It's I do not So I'm saying Aaron. Okay, I'm okay on the count of three, answer. One, two, three, One, two, three Aaron. Aaron. Okay, final answer. answer. Aaron. Locked in, can't okay. change it. Here we go. Our answer is... Aaron! Aaron. So, if you need the answer, it is found where at, Pastor Robin? Exodus chapter 32, verse 1. All That's right. where it's found. Okay, next question. So, really quick, we're safe. Yep, Neither one of us has to do this. Sorry for you guys, lucky for us. So big, no, maybe next time you'll have to go. Okay, here we go. Question number two. I'm so nervous. <laughs> what did the people ask Aaron to Moses was it A a statue? I guess it was A. Statue. Golden calf. Food or box. Okay, answer on three. One, two, three. Statue. Well, oh, wasn't it a statue of a golden calf? Right. Either you're right or I'm wrong, or I'm right and you're wrong. What did the people ask Aaron to make when Moses was on the mountain? It was a statue. Okay, way to find out. Here the we go. Cap. Final Three, answer. Two, one. Gods! Oh! What did the people ask gods. Aaron to make when Moses was on the mountain? Gods? What? Ugh. I gotta go grab my Bible. Yeah. Where's my Bible? I don't know. There's Bible over there. Got it. Got it. It says Exodus chapter 32, verse 1. Okay, here we go. Pulling it up. Exodus. Second book in the Bible. 32. The verse 1. When the people saw how long it was taking Moses to come back down the mountain, they gathered around Aaron and said, Come on, make us some gods who can lead us. Okay. Uh, I'll let ladies first. I'll let you roll that. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. I will go first. That wasn't really a roll. That was a roll. That didn't that it didn't even six. roll. That was a six. I still got a six the second time. <laughs> All right, let me take my glasses off. I gotta pull my hair back. I do not want this stuff in my hair. That would be gross. Oh. Ew, no it's not. Okay. I have to do this six times. Oh my god. Six goodness. times. Okay, it's probably gonna go. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Come on. That's number four? Yep. Three, two, one. I did it. Okay, I did. I'm sorry, I couldn't wait for your counting. I just had to get it done. What? Five, six. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, you were counting too slow. I just had to get it over with. The anxiety was killing me. It didn't go. Six times. Praise the Lord. That means that you are up, sir. <laughs> this is so unfair. Not really. She rolled a Not six really. twice, and she still didn't get pie in the face. All right, your turn, sir. Let's do this. Oh. Come on. Four. <laughs> it's going to happen. <laughs> hey. I'm like a goat. Okay. <laughs> Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. That wasn't even a turn. Ah, oh, got it. Let me see where to get you. Oh, it barely got you like down your nose. It's like melting. This stuff melts so fast. All right, we'll get this reset. Oh, here we go. There we go. Okay, let me see. Are you good? You're clear. That might be for you, sir. It's not. Six. Okay, let's see. Next question. Oh, Holy cow. Question number three. What did Aaron ask the people to bring to him? Okay, on the count of three. 
Wait, 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 I didn't even read. What did? I just read it out loud. What did Aaron ask the people to bring to him? One, two, oh. Mana, earrings, necklaces, or wine? Okay. And the answer is one, two, three. three. Earrings. Necklaces. Ooh. She was asking for gold. I thought it was rings, and they said earrings and necklaces. Okay. So right. maybe it was. Final. Final. Okay. I'm. Answer. I'm going to say necklaces. Three. Necklaces. Two. Oh, it was earrings! I should have <laughs> stuck with it. No, I should have stuck with Can it. Can you read that? Make sure. What? That is correct. Exodus thirty-two, okay, two through three. three. Okay, yes. Let's bring this back up to so make sure we are biblically correct. Two through three. Take the gold rings from the ears of your wives and bring them to me. Earrings. Man, that is detailed. Earrings. Oh, did you guys get that right? Did you guys know it was earrings? Or did you guys guess something else? I should have stuck with my gut. I should have stuck with my gut. Man. Now I have to do this again. All right, let me go. Here we go. Let me see this. One. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> I hope it doesn't go twice in a row. This thing can go twice in a row. So let's pray it doesn't. Ready? No. Three. Yes! <laughs> I knew it. I had a feeling it was going to go again. Let's see. Let's see. And it did. Oh, that's so gross. Oh, I just smeared it further on my face. I just wanted to get it over with. Oh, yeah. All right, am I good? Yeah, you got some in your eye. Did I get it off? I got You're good. You're good. Good, 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 good. All right, here we go. I should have stuck with my gut. One. One. It would have been him. It would have been me. Should have, would have, could have, but didn't. I would oh. laugh if it went again. That would be fantastic. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, All right. Stinks. Okay. okay. Okay, next question. We still have one, two more questions left. Here we go. Question number four. Question four. What did Aaron make out of the golden earrings that the people brought to him? Was it a golden calf, a golden bull, a golden lamb, or a golden cow? Very specific. Gosh. Very specific. Because technically a calf, bull, and cow are all technically the same thing. Yeah. I guess this also depends well, on what- a lamb. No, not a lamb. I said the calf, oh, bull, yeah, and yeah. cow. Calf is a baby cow, a bull is a male cow, and a cow is just a generic cow. Okay, so okay. he made, let me think and rack my brain. Okay, so uh, I, this is super specific. I, I think I don't know my I answer. Know Okay. Yep. One, two, three. Golden calf. calf. Yeah. You probably, I probably shouldn't have said calf. I should, probably should have said golden. golden. Because she probably heard me say calf. No, I was already going to say golden calf. You could have said golden bull, but changed your golden mind. Golden cow. You I think, calf. honestly, I think it's either golden calf or golden cow, yeah. depending on the version okay. that you read, but I want it, I'm going to say golden calf. Are you ready to ask John? No. But. I but let's do it. Here we go. On the count of three. Yep. One, two, three. Oh, thank oh, the Lord. Wow. Finally, we're spared. Well, these are 30, tough questions. Exodus 32 4. What did you guys guess? Did you guess cow? Did you guess lamb? Did you guess bull? Or did you guess like us and got it correct? Golden calf. So these are all from the same story of Moses yep. and Aaron, but this is so specific. Uh -huh. I did not realize we we're going to get into the nitty gritty yes. details. All, all right. right. Last question. Hopefully, no, no more of this. Here we go. One, ah, let's see. All right, read it out for us, Pastor. Okay, Jonathan. question number five. What did God tell Moses that the Israelites were doing to the golden calf? Were they sacrificing to it, kissing, kissing it, it riding, riding it, or destroying it? it? I know my final answer. Okay, I think I know mine. Count of three. Sacrificing to it. Yes. Okay. Okay. And okay. the answer? Answer. There we go. Very good. Oh, spared. We've been spared. We've got, what, two or three? Exodus 32, 7 through 8. If you need to find that reference, they were sacrificing it to, to this golden statue okay. because they were trying to worship it because they were impatient waiting for Moses. Yep. What was Moses doing on the mountain? Do you remember? He was talking. 
He was talking to God. He was writing the Ten Commandments down, and the people were at the bottom of the mountain, impatiently waiting. Say, uh, is Moses talking to God? I don't know. We don't want to wait anymore. Let's make our own fake God and sacrifice to that. And the Lord was not happy. So. All right. Well, <sighs> what did you guys get? Thank you guys, for playing with us. Uh, we hope that you did better than us. Hopefully. I think, I think we only did like two. We got like two what? out of five. Two out of five. That was pretty embarrassing. Terrible. Really um, bad. I hope you guys got better than that. Let us know. Definitely email us, children at Bethel.org with your responses. You yeah. And you guys, it's time for the best part of the whole yes. service, our Bible story. So let's watch this video together. The Bible. It's 66 books of history stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of Esther, Esther was the queen of Persia. Wait, what? Queen? Esther didn't become queen in the usual way. See, her father wasn't a king, and she wasn't from a noble family. It's just me and cousin Mordecai. In fact, Esther was Jewish. Many of God's people had been captured and brought to Babylon when their home, Judah, was conquered. Then Babylon was taken over by Persia, so Esther grew up in a land that wasn't her own. When Esther's parents died, her cousin Mordecai raised her as his very own daughter. Always remember what our scriptures say. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your strength. One day, a new king named Xerxes came to power in Persia. He was so impulsive that he actually fired his queen, Vashti, simply for refusing to show up at a wild party. She will never see me again. When Xerxes had finally calmed down, he had realized he now had no queen. I have no queen. He would have to find a new one. I must find a new one. So the king decided to hold a contest. He ordered his officials to gather the most beautiful young women in the land and put them through an entire year of beauty treatments. Esther was one of those girls chosen. Cousin Mordecai, what do I do? Don't tell anyone you're from a Jewish family. I have chosen my new queen. <clears throat> Drum roll. My new queen is Esther. Mm-hmm. Me? Assume the queenly royal crown. I might have to resize it. Just as Xerxes had so impulsively switched queens, he also promoted a royal official named Haman, higher than all of the other nobles in the kingdom. Bow to me, you fools! Haman was delighted when all of the officials outside the palace bowed low before him. When he discovered that Mordecai refused to bow, he was enraged. You have to bow. Somebody make him bow. Haman was so angry. He made a plan to destroy not only Mordecai, but all the Jews in the land. He laid it out for the king. Your majesty, these Jews live differently than everyone else. They don't obey your laws. Fiddlesticks. That's just wrong. Precisely. Give the order to destroy them. Consider it done. Xerxes agreed to the terrible decree. Messengers took the letter all over the kingdom. Hear ye, hear ye. On the 13th day of the 12th month, all Jews are to be killed. Hear ye, hear ye. When Mordecai and the other Jews discovered the horrible news, they dressed in rough clothing and wept bitterly. Mordecai sent a message to Esther in the palace, telling her what Haman had done. You must ask the king to save our people. Esther was devastated. She sent a response to her cousin. No one can come before the king unless he sends for them. If I do it, I'll die, unless he reaches out his gold scepter to me. Mordecai sent his answer right back. You may not escape, 
Even though you're queen, who knows? It's possible that you became queen for just a time like this. He's right. Here, tell this to Mordecai. Gather all the Jews. Don't eat anything for three days. I and my servants will fast too. Then I'll go to the king. Esther faced an impossible dilemma, but she took three days to prepare her heart and her mind. Bring my most beautiful royal robes. Heart racing, Esther entered the throne room. Across the long hall, she saw the king seated high on the throne. Breathless, she waited for him to see her. Please, please, please. The king looked up, his dark eyes locked on Esther's face. And then he smiled. He reached out his golden scepter. Thank God. What is it, Queen Esther? I'll give you anything, up to half my kingdom. Esther could have made her request right away, but she knew she would have a better chance if she made the king curious. King Xerxes, if it pleases you, come to a feast I've prepared today. Oh, and bring Haman. Consider it done. Esther created an elaborate feast for the king and his number two official. <laughs> Look at me, you peasants, invited to the queen's banquet. At the meal, King Xerxes once again tried to discover what Esther wanted. I'll give you anything, up to half my kingdom. Once again, Esther held her ground and waited for the perfect moment. I'd like you and Haman to come to another feast tomorrow. Then I'll answer your question. The king agreed, and Haman spent the whole evening bragging to all of his friends. You guys, the queen thinks I am the bomb. <laughs> but the second feast was a different story. As before, Esther prepared an incredible meal. Both Haman and the king were quick to dig in. What do you want me to do for you? I'll give you up to half my kingdom. Esther took a deep breath. Something told her this was the right moment. Your majesty, let me live. Please spare my people. We have been sold to be destroyed. Haman paled and choked on his fillet, but the king's face flushed red with rage. Who is the man who has dared to do such a thing? Esther turned her gaze on Haman. Haman is the one. In a panic, Haman threw himself at the queen. Totally didn't mean it. Please, please, please let me live. You dare attack the queen? Take him away. That very night, Haman was killed, and the king created a new order that would allow the Jews to be saved. We will celebrate this day with great joy. God had given Esther a surprising position in a foreign nation, and when the time was right, she would use all she had been given to save her people. God gave Esther a surprising position in a faraway nation. When the time was right, she used all she was given to make a big difference. She used her creativity to save her people. And God gave you special gifts too. He has a plan for your life that you'll be able to discover more and more of as you get older. Just like Esther was created for a very important job too. That's right, Pastor Kehlani. Our bottom line is God created you for a purpose. For one, I can't wait to see the plans that he has for you. Absolutely. And you know what? It might ha not happen right now. It can happen right now, yeah. but think about Esther. It didn't happen, uh, she didn't realize her purpose until later in life. And so don't worry about that, but I would just ask God, God, can you show me my purpose? Yeah. Let's pray. Lord God, we thank you because you created each of us different. Lord, we even might have a twin sibling, but we have different thumbprints. And with that, God, you create us, each of us, for a purpose. And so, Jesus, though we might not know what it is right now, but God, that you would reveal it in your right timing. And so, Jesus, we are grateful for the, the creativity you have given us. And so, Lord, I pray that we would use our creativity for your purpose. And so that way we can make a story for you. In yes, Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. We can't wait to show you more about creativity in yes. the next coming weeks. So make sure you like and subscribe our channel, Bethel Kids SJ, so you can get notified when every video is ready. Yes. Well, we'll see you next week. Bye. Take care.